back for a second season. So There's something yeah, there's just in the DNA of this show that the shots and uh, the the feel of it and the kids on bicycles, you know, just like you see that's like, I'm not even sure what I'm remembering. It just feels like a little conglomeration of everything great and every Goonies and Poltergeist and Stand By Me and E.T. It's like it's in there and you don't even know what it is you're responding to. But, you know, we just showed the trailer here and people went crazy. It's like, wow. That Amblin Entertainment stuff that I grew up with in the 80s, like E.T. And then, of course, like for me, it was Raiders of the Lost Ark, like that Indiana Jones uh, stuff when I was a kid. And all those guys sort of were what I viewed a man to be. I mean... And it's sort of, you know, movies really are a mythos in our society, like with the ancient Greeks, they had their myths, and we have our myths in movies, and those guys from the 80s, like Harrison Ford or Gene Hackman or Nick Nolte or Jack Nicholson, like those are the guys that taught me what it was to be a man for good and for bad. And so, um, you know, I love that, and I want to bring a little bit more of that back to our society for good and for bad. Empire Strikes Back is like probably my favorite movie of all time. I mean, I love The Shining, Indiana Jones, Back to the Future, Goonies, John Hughes movies are great. Um, Bruce Springsteen, I'm a huge fan of Bruce Springsteen. He's great, it's like a real family. My whole family really loves Bruce Springsteen, all from the East Coast. It's just like, Born to Run, I think was the year of the, uh, or no, no, it was uh, Born in the USA, it was 84, the year of the show, this year. I don't know, cool stuff. It's fun to see like a lot of 80s pop culture stuff come back around because it's like all the clothes that my dad was wearing when he was my age.